You know that meme where it's like the kid is like, can we have McDonald's? And the mom's like, no, you have McDonald's at home. Mm-hmm. And then it cuts to the McDonald's at home. Mm-hmm. That's going to be like what we're doing. Basically. Are you filming this? Welcome back. Hello, everyone, to another episode of Mr. and Mrs. Nerd. Um, we're doing fast food today. Uh, we're going to go back and do a food challenge. We haven't done, done one of those in a while, but it's a combination of a food challenge and a craft. So, without further ado, I present uh, Poppin'? Poppin' Cooking? How did we how did we end up pronouncing it? Poppin' it's, cooking. It, the first it's word awesome. Is, no, it's like it's like popin' cooking. Popin' if I'm being honest. Okay. Because poppin' has two P's. It is like Japanese candy. It's so cool. Um I have a couple of these. Uh and this is the bourbon and fries recipe pack. So we're gonna do this today. It sounded like you said bourbon fries. Bourbon fries. Bourbon fries. Bourbon fries. So southern fries. Southern cooking, home style bourbon fries. Okay, uh, let me see. Let's get this open. How come you get to open it? Do you want to open it? Yes. Oh. I like opening things. There you go. Yeah. I've never done, we've never done one of these before, so oh, this is going to be a new experience for all of us. Um, okay, so the packaging, right out of the gate, is adorable. Um, there's like little burgers and fries and um, I love it. ketchup and so I guess, so these are all the contents of the box, everything that you're going to make is on the packaging, uh, which is cool, but yeah, it's really cute and uh, nicely packaged, so let's tear that open. Yes. Oh, man. Okay, so everything we need is in here, except um, there's a cup of water that we'll need for most of this. Oh, you need um, scissors to cut apart the tray. Oh, we do? It says, cut apart tray as shown in picture. So, yes. Of course. Well, I will get the scissors. I got you the safety scissors. That's smart, thank you. Yep. Um, okay, so in but the, I do have the diagram, thank God it's a plastic one. All right. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> um, cut apart tray as shown in picture. Okay. So I will be the one doing that. They're too small for my hands. How do they expect you to? Oh. I probably would have been able to figure it out. Just saying. I've already figured it out. I just, just need to saying. Make sure I'm doing it all. right. So this is for the water? Yeah. Alright, so you're already starting with the directions? Mm -hmm. Alright, cool. Too much water. rip this, but like, I guess I'll have to cut it all the way. Okay. So the first direction is to add a triangle cup of water to the ridge bottom tray. Got it. Add powder Sweet. from the blue packet. It says potato candy powder. Oh, so this is for the french fries. Yes. Awesome. So you already added the water? I added the water. Okay. Um, so yeah, it comes with the hamburger, patty, bun mix. Uh, there is ketchup and cola, as well as french fries. So it's a whole mini meal. And it looks like um, you right. have enough to create two patties or two burgers. But I also see cheese. And where is that? Is this it? Yes, this is the cheese. Okay. 
Are you sure you added enough water? Mm -hmm. So you cut it after it hardens? Yeah. Four. Yeah, it says turn over tray and remove after harden. Cut along the lines provided for you by the ridge tray. So this is cool. I mean, you don't really have to do a whole lot. Mm -hmm. you got to mix the water and everything, and, and the powder. kit does, it, does the work for you. And um, the orange packet. Bun candy powder. You're doing the buns? Okay. Hot buns. What is this? Oh, this is so cool. This is for the cola. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. And then I guess Patty and... What goes in here? That powder from Brown Packet. Oh, okay. You can like hardly see those. What's in that one? So in the center one is the patty. Um, and then on either side, uh, put the bun sections mm. or the the bun candy in there. This is definitely orange. You smell it? Yeah. You know what? That's not bad. They're very strong scents. But they smell like wool. Yeah, that's nice. But it smells like... More um, than the candles. Yeah, oh my god. I know, but we still can't smell those. So for anyone wondering, <laughs> uh, the candles have almost no scent at all. Like, I thought when we were lighting them that I could smell green apple. And then after five minutes had gone by, and we they were lit for five minutes and melting. Um, nothing. It just... Smells like nothing. It smells like fire. It was so. all an illusion. Yeah. I guess because I wanted to smell it. Yes. My brain just tricked me into doing it. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's still a really cool things. craft. Um, it's still, it was a lot of fun, and we still have a bunch of them. So they last for a little bit. Okay, so you can divide it. All right, cool. Whoa. Look at that. And then fill two sections of the little circle tray. The dough feels like like play dough almost, or cookie dough. Does it? Yeah. Don't you, you don't think so? Hmm. It smells awesome. Oh yeah, like I was saying, it was, it kind of smells like you know the Russell Stover chocolates that have like the fruit jam in them. Never had them. No. Well, there's one that has like strawberry and one that has orange filling. And this smells like the orange filling. Okay. Alright, so I'll put this in here. Just for the buns. Okay. Now it's four more triangle cups of water and then patty candy powder. You have that over there? Yes. It's brown. Oh, it's right in front of you. Okay. You know what? I think that might be too much. What is this supposed to be? It smells disgusting. It smells like chocolate. Really? Yeah. Did you just drop your phone again? Yeah. It smells like meat. Well, it, I mean, it is a patty, but it's 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 the chocolate packet. It does not smell like chocolate to me. So I like chocolate. I mean, I don't think they would make the smell meat. I know they did, but it just isn't enjoyable. This isn't mixing as well. It as smells like chocolate. Okay, a little bit more. Yeah. You want to smell that now? I smell it. Yeah, it smells like chocolate chips. These all, everything has to harden. So you like, it doesn't say how long to give it. This one does though. Oh, this one the doesn't. fries are done. They're this is like a different mix than the gummies. This isn't gummy. That's pretty cool. You know, I think I might let these go for a little bit longer. This says it takes 10 minutes. To harden? Yeah, because it's not like the other stuff. Oh, wow. Okay, well, cool. At least we have a time frame. You don't think that's enough? I don't think it's enough. All right. That's like fill it all the way up to the top, like I above need the a lip. a little bit more. I think more. Okay. More. Have you have you seen the the meme with Kylo Ren? 
where I think it's I think it's like um, the line is when I can finally go back out into the world. Stop taking things this off. This is the lumpy. Camera. You didn't mix this all the way. Either that or you didn't add enough water. It's not I it's did add not enough water. thin enough. There's still lumps in it. You really you really screwing us up over here. Everyone's a critic. Well, I mean, do you want lumpy patties? No. Well, I'm not eating it, so. No. I don't want them. So, how about that? What else we got over here? Ketchup, cheese, cola. Anyway, it's the meme where the caption is when I could finally go back out in the world again after COVID and go to Red Lobster and Red Lobster uh, Olive Garden and get all oh, of the, the breadsticks. Bread yes, I, yeah. I've seen that. All right, I'm gonna cut this. Nice. Make sure they get a good shot of that. Well, as of right now, I can't really tell. It's just a Superman logo shape of French fries. But. Now the cheese, I think it's going to be banana. The cheese normally stands alone. You going to clean it? You're the only one eating it, so if it gets contaminated. That's not bad. You like it? That's not bad at all. Use a different finger. I don't care. Listen, yeah. you're the only one eating it. I don't think that's going to work. No? All right, fine. Look at. Now I have to do something with this water. Because I'm going to have to use the cola cup. Okay. Here you go. Okay. Don't recommend doing that if you're sharing this with other people. No, do not. But I am allergic to some of the things that are in here. And so I cannot consume it. Yeah, it contains dairy. And gelatin. Right? No. No? No. For once. I'm allergic to gelatin, though. I just don't eat it. Oh, I know. That smells really good. Do you remember the Rugrats Gone Wild movie? Yeah. Did you go see it in theaters? No, definitely not. Oh. Why? Oh, are you talking about the scratch and sniff? Yes. Yeah, I remember you telling me about that. They oh, gave you I like a card. You a story, huh? they yeah, gave they you like gave the... you a card to go with the movie. They said that it was like a 4D experience. Yeah. <laughs> right. It's and cool. um, it was like scratch and sniff, and they would tell you like, okay, at this part in the movie, scratch here, and you could smell it. And I remember there was like this scene with bananas. It's been a long time since I've seen this movie, so I don't remember what happens really, but. Um, and I remember the banana one smelling so strongly that once you scratched it, like the rest of the card smelled like that too. If you guys have this shared experience and you felt the same way, please let me know. <laughs> is there, yes, um, is there a, a place for the fries when they're done? Like, to put them? Um, oh! Mm, okay, scissors. So, not only is the bag adorable, but... This is where you're supposed to put the food when you're done. So, if you look on the package at the top, oh, you see it? Oh, I see. Yeah, the fries kind of get just stacked on. Yeah. They just kind of get stacked on themselves. Okay, cool. So. Okay, I think your cheese is done. This really is such a specific memory. Does the smell like really bring it back for it you? It does. Yeah. It's crazy, but yes. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I don't know what this means. <laughs> for you? But I can't figure this out, what this means. Spread mm -hmm. and flatten evenly to match shape and size of the packing pouch guide, cut in half. What does that, does that mean this? Awesome. Um, I don't know what that means, but have at it, please. 
Sure. Sure. Okay. Just put the box where I got my workspace here. Um. I. I would assume this is what they mean. Although it doesn't need to be perfect. And then they said to cut it in half. Okay. Where's the knife? There it is. You have it. Yeah. Strawberry? Strawberry. Oh, yeah. That smells nice. It does. This is the cat's. The what? <laughs> the ketchup. It's like a strawberry sauce. Yeah, it looks like it too. I love it. Okay, so um, on the package as well, right on the bottom here, is the guide for the cheese and then for... I don't know what else. There's something else that you're supposed to cut. Probably the burger and buns. Hmm. Perhaps. Maybe. It's not shaped like it, though. No, those are, that's the cheese. Oh, you can cut the cheese that way if you want. That's how the cheese is supposed to be cut, yes. Well, this is the, the square. There's two squares. There's two squares of cheese. No, I know, but they're both different shapes. Oh, so, I don't know what they mean by yeah. that. They just said cut in half. Maybe they were assuming your cut wouldn't be quite even. Well. Maybe they were showing that the cut goes there and you pull it away from the other one. And that's why it's bent. Oh, uh, maybe. I okay. Think so. Well, regardless, I I'm just gonna. Is the chocolate out of here? I'll fix that in a second. Just gonna snack as I go. I mean, that's good. good. Your buns might be ready. What is that that piled up there? This? Yeah. More buns. Oh. Take these bones out of the oven. I don't think you did it the right way. What do you mean? Well, because you were supposed to make it full. Like, you're supposed to put all of it in there and then cut it in half. Well, you know what I did? The wrong thing. I did it my way. So. It's fine. Okay. You were hogging the box. So how am I supposed to see the directions? I mean, you knew that it was cut in half, though. No, uh -uh. and I you said, said the same thing, thing about the patties, too. That's why I was only going to fill it up halfway. That's not set yet, but it's, it's it's supposed to be set in, like, a minute. Chocolate stuff? I don't think it's going to be. I don't, it's at 10 minutes. Yeah, you put it in... We were at, like, 16 minutes run time on the clock up there. That's okay. I'm keeping track. Oh, okay, good. So it would be, like, another minute, but I don't think... I don't think it's going to be set, personally. No. doesn't look like it is. It's getting there. It's solidifying. It still looks very liquidy. Yeah. All right, that's good enough. It tastes like whatever the, the flavor is plus marshmallows. Mm. It's really good. That's good. Yeah, that looks right. Okay. Boy, there is water just all over the place. Well, it's water. It just wipes up. Could be worse. Could be the powder. Yeah. Last time it was like wax beads all over the place. Mm hmm Or goop. Ooh. Big slimy jelly goop. Ooh. Ah. Nice. Yeah, that is pretty cool. It smells like it too. It smells like the candy. Mm -hmm. You know, like the Coca Cola bottles. I mean, thumbs up. It 
It's not awful, but like, it tastes like if somebody melted down one of those Coca-Cola bottle candies. Um, it's got a real weird aftertaste. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Well, you don't have to drink the rest. It's like a shot of it, though. I'm um, whatever. Man, that is just. How did it? And how did this happen? The dome on the top, like. That's what it's supposed to do. I think it like grows. Maybe it. I don't know. Maybe it gets air in there, and that's what happens. It like expands. That's why I thought we should only do half at a time, because only one patty is gonna look like that, with the design in it. That's the way they said to do it. I mean, sometimes you gotta break the rules. We're on our own cooking adventure right now. We don't need okay. to be well, doing what Pop and Cooking does. I mean, it's okay. It's just. I don't think it's Pop and Cooking. It's not. That's not how you spell Poppin. It's not, but. Popin? Popin. Popin cooking? You never know. Maybe. We'll have to look it up. Maybe. Poppin chicken. Or poppin cooking. That's not how you spell pop it. I, it must mean something else. I don't know what it means, but I can't. Is it going to be left a mystery then? I guess us? so. I guess so. I guess so. But that's, well, I just, I disagree with how they've spelt it if they meant it to be poppin. I feel like it's, this is probably for children and it's sending the wrong message. It's grammatically, it's incorrect. It does say DIY for kids. For kids. For kids. You want your kids to know how to spell poppin'. But maybe, but maybe it's not that, that, I don't know. I don't know. I don't care. It's just, it's fun. It's cute. And so far the candy's been good, so that's all that matters. Mm. Well, you said the candles were good too. And they didn't get anything from it. Maybe we should give it a day and see. Just revisit and we'll come back. I'm going to eat it let all you, now. Let you think on it. What do you mean? The patty definitely takes over when you put it together. The patties are like huge and the buns are super tiny. Oh, so good. Yeah. Yes. But I mean. It looks good. Yeah, it does. You want to try it? I am. And mm. you like it? Mm hmm Wow. Oh my god. Whoever thought of about thought about this really put effort into combining the right flavors. Because you also have to take into consideration that, you know, you can't have grape ketchup. I mean, I think they have had purple ketchup in the past. They have had purple but ketchup. But it wasn't grape flavored though. It just tastes like It would be, you colors. know, you want to use strawberry or cherry for the ketchup and um, chocolate makes sense for the patty because of the color. But when you combine all these flavors together, as you would since it's a burger, it's perfect. It's so good. It's really crazy too. And, um, I mean, you were definitely right because each thing has its own, like, consistency. Mm. You know? So... It's like chocolate covered tropical fruit. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. We would 100% do this again. Yeah. And eat this again. It was fun. I enjoyed mixing things. That's my favorite part of making slime is mixing everything anyway. So this was like the experience of making slime and then you get to eat it at the end. Mm -hmm. So. Really, it's a win-win, I think. I agree. For yeah. us in particular. I have a little bit of ketchup left over, a little bit of patty left over. Mm -hmm. Combine those two. Mm-hmm. Down a little bit of Coke. A little bit of soda. <laughs> a little bit of cola. Does it work? It's the only thing. Oh. It's the only thing that like stands out. Like everything else comes together.
perfect harmony, and then that's just kind of like, whoa. Fries, ketchup, awesome. The whole thing. So yeah, I would definitely recommend buying this, making it, eating it. It's a lot of fun. It doesn't take too long, and everything is included. <clears throat> well, I wouldn't say it doesn't take too long, because... Well, the patty takes 10 minutes. But if that takes 10 minutes, and then the rest of this, I would say it takes a good 20 to 30. In my opinion. And there's two of us. So if you, had, you were one person making this and didn't have four hands, you might. That's a different situation. That's personal. But if you, if you only have two hands and you're one person making this, then it would take a substantial amount of time to make this. Mm. And especially if you're like a kid, like they say this is for, it's going to take a really long time. Sure, so. but if, it's, if you're a kid, then you're, you're probably doing this with your parents. You know, it's Maybe probably it a, a group activity. You never know. You never know. And I think it's funny that we keep reviewing things that are made for children. Because we are children. Buy this at heart. for your kid. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> it's the best we can give you, guys. Because we obviously play with toys. We enjoy crafts that are made for children. They're just better. Yeah, so 10 out of 10. Awesome. Awesome products. <laughs> always 10 out of 10 at least. Well, nope. Not always. Is it a 10, though? Because you didn't like the Coca-Cola. Well, the last one I gave an 11. Okay. So. What is the scale, then? I'll take a point off. It's whatever I want it to be. I, I think we need to establish a set scale, or else it doesn't make any sense. Who rationally. cares about the numbers, anyway? Nobody's going to buy it based off of my score. Um, I would. No. It's just a number. But, yeah, the, the cola is a little weird has a weird taste. Well, it did um, come from a powder. It's very entertaining uh, to, to make fizz. and to watch it fizz up and stuff, yeah. So, that's pretty cool. But aside from that, yeah, that's, you know, it's, it can't be like Coca-Cola or something like that. Because, yeah, the powder came from a little package. Um, but the rest of this, yeah, it all tasted great, combined really well, um, and it's easy to do. So... Yeah, I give it a high score. Okay. Um, I recommend buying this 100%. Um, but yeah, so now comes a new segment Yeah. that I will be adding to each episode from now on. John cleans the table? No. So... Inside this little Batman cup box head, um, we have suggestions for future episodes. I did not know about this. I know, it's a surprise. Because uh -huh. we did get some suggestions. So, <laughs> I'm going to... From our viewers. I'm going to shake this up. Mostly our family. And let you pick. Close my eyes? Yeah. Pick? Close your eyes. And go around. There you go. Let me get one. Okay. What did we get? Slime kit. Oh, cool. Slime kit. Okay. I'm pretty excited about it. So then that will be the next episode. Uh, we will be doing a slime kit. Um, so yeah, so do this. Um, send me, you know, put it in the comments. Tell us what you want from the show, what you want us to do. <laughs> and it will go in Batman's head, and then we will choose from it. So that'll be the next episode. So we'll do that from now on. Um, we will have a lobotomy every episode. Why do you gotta bring it to like a dark place all the time?